Here's the safety practice test number four, section four. I'll first go over the first 20 questions. It's with calculator, 38 questions for 55 minutes, and here are the formulas they will get in the beginning of each section. So number one, the monthly membership fee for an online television and movie service is 980, so that's a flat fee. The cost of viewing television show online is included in the membership fee, but there is additional fee of 150 to rent each movies online. So additional move costs for each movie. So the movie rental fee were total of 12.80. How many movies did Jill rent online that month? So if I say exists the number of movies he rented he has to pay 1.5 each and the flat fee the membership was 8 980 so you subtract 980 from both sides to solve for x i get 3 equals to 1.5 x so when you divide by 1.5 from both sides you get x equals 2 2 two movies one of the requirements for becoming a court reporter is the ability to type 225 movie words per minute. Donald can currently type 180 words per minute and believes that with practice he can re increase his typing speed by 5 words per minute each month. So which of the following represents the number of the words word per minute that Donald believes he will be able to type in months from now on? So right now he can type 180 and he's adding five each month. So it is five N plus 180. A. If a three pound pizza is sliced in half and each half is sliced into three, total of six total, right? Divided in half and three, so one six, which of what is the weight in ounces of each of the slides? So the total is three pounds. And one pound, they're equal, right? When you convert the units, you can put the pounds that you're trying to get rid of in the denominator. So one pound, as you can see, equals to six ounces. So that's total of 60, no, 48 ounces. But one slide, you have to divide by six because there are a total of six slides. You get eight ounces for each slice. So it is C. Nick surveyed a random sample of the freshman class of his high school to determine whether the fall festival should be held in October or November. Of the 90 students surveyed, 25.6% preferred October. Based on this information about how many students an entire 225 class will be expected to prefer having the festival in October. So same percentage goes with 225. So it's 225, but it is 25.6% of it. So you multiply by the decimal of 25.6% is 0.256. You move two decimals to the left. We'll give you the answer. So 225 times. 0.256, you get about 57, so about, when you round it, round it, you get 60, B. Five, the density of the object is equal to the mass of the object divided by volume. So density equals to mass divided by volume. What is the volume? The in milliliters of the object, which mass of, mass of 24 grams, divided by volume becomes three grams per milliliters. So what do you need to divide it by to make 24 to three? You have to divide it by eight. If I show you how to do this, you can cross multiply them. 24 equals two, three times V. So you divide by three and three. So V equals two, eight. Six, last week. Raul work 11 more hours than Angelica. If they work a combined total of 59 hours, how many hours did Angelica work last week? So R for how many hours he worked plus Angelica, it's total of 59. And it says Raul work 11 more hours than Angelica. 
So now you just got to solve for A by solving the system of equation. So since you already have what your R equals to, I'm going to just plug 11 plus A into R. So 11 plus A, your R plus A equals to 59. So I get 11 plus A plus A is 2A equals to 59. So subtract 11 from both sides. So I get 2A equals to 48. So when you divide by 2's, I get A equals to 24 hours. 24 hours. Double check whether you're solving for the right person. Angelica, right, which is A. They ask for a roll. You can subtract from 24 from 59. So movies with greatest ticket sale in 2012 is given. The table above represents the 50 movies that had greatest ticket sale in 2012. All right. What proportion of the movies are comedies with PG-13? Comedies with PG-13 is 4 out of, not from just PG-13, out of the whole thing. So it will be 4 over 50. So you get all this, right? If you simplify, divide by 2's top and bottom, you get 2 over 25. Eight line L in the XY plane contains points from each quadrant two, three, and four, but no points from quadrant one. So it should look something like this, right? It cannot touch the first quadrant. If you do anything like that, positive slope, it will always go through first quadrant. So it has to be a negative, right? Zero means horizontal, undefined means the vertical line. Nine. So the table shows the number of registered voters in 2012 in thousands in four geographical region and five groups. Based on the table, if registered voter who was 18 to 44, 18 to 44, so from these two groups, chosen at random, which of the following is closest to the probability that the registered voter was from Midwest region? So at these two, divide by these two, add it. To save time, what you can do is just add the thousands. I know it's already in thousands, but they're all same unit. So I'll do 3 plus 11, which is 14,000, divided by 14,000 plus 47,000. It's about 61,000. And let's see whether you can get some number close to it. And if you have time, of course, you can put the exact number and get the accurate Answer, but since like 0.2 somewhere, so it has to be B. Can't be C, either A. All right, so a curator at the Wildlife Society created the scatter plot above to examine the relationship between the gestation period and life expectancy of 10 species of animal. Okay, so what is the life expectancy in years of the animal that has the longest gestation? Gestation period. Longest gestation period is this one right here, which is three. So A, three. Same question. I mean, same table. Of the label point, which represents the animal for which the ratio of likes expectancy to gestation period is greatest. So this to this means this over that. So that means y over x. So a is 7 over 22, almost, right? Approximately b, 8 over 44. So c is 8 over 51. So d is 10 over. 51. So this has to be greater than that because it has the same denominator. So now we are just comparing these two. If you compare these two, it's 44. So this is the same as 14 over 44. So same denominator that's smaller. So now we are just comparing these two. 14 divided by 44 and 10 divided by 51, which is about 0.2. So the first one, A, has the greatest ratio. In the xy plane, the graph of the function f has a y-intercept of negative 
3, negative 1, and 1, meaning you, your graph can look something like that, right? Which of the following could define f? So here, if it's an x-intercept, you're looking for when it equals to 0. So these number needs to make the y equal to 0, right? So 1 minus 3 will become 0. 3, negative 3 plus 3. So it can't be minus and 1 minus 1 is, can be 0, negative 1. So here's the list of the roots using the factors. We call these x-intercepts, we call them roots, solutions, and x-intercepts. They, they all mean the same thing. So the population of mosquito in the swamp is estimated over the course of 20 weeks, as shown in table. Which of the following best describe the relationship between time an estimated population of mosquito during the 20 weeks. So every five weeks, what happens to a population? It gets multiplied by 10. So when you multiply by a constant number, it means it's exponentially growing. If you are adding the same number, then it is increasing, increasing linear, right? Linear function. So the expression above gives the amount of money in dollars generated in a year by a thousand dollar deposit in a bank account that pays the annual interest of our rate compounded monthly. Which of the following expressions show how much additional money is generated an interest rate of five percent than the interest rate of three percent? So five R becomes three and five, and we, were, we want to know the additional money, so we have to get the difference. You cannot just find the difference of rate, rate because then it just becomes 2%, which is not true in real life. You have to just get them separately. So you have to put five and get how much you will get, and put three and find the difference. 2% itself will not be the change in difference. I mean, additional money you'll get. You have to find the actual money for each percentage and get the difference. Which of the following scatter plots shows a relationship that is approximately appropriately modeled with the equation where A is positive and B is negative? So then it will be uh, exponential decay, right? The exponential decay function negative, so it is B. So, Mr. Martinson is building a concrete pa patio in his backyard and deciding where to buy the materials and rent the tools needed for the project. The table below shows the materials cost and daily rental cost for three different stores. The total cost Y for buying the materials and renting tools in terms of the number of days X is given. Okay, what's the question? For what number of days X will the total cost of buying the materials and renting the tools from store B less than the total, less than or equal to the total cost buying from A. So less than or equal to from A. So A is, we'll get an M is 750 plus W plus K, that's 80. 80 x and comparing with b b is 600 plus 105 x so if i were you yeah we can quickly go ahead and solve it so move the smaller x first to keep the signs and make the x positive so I get 25x, let's say we equal to and subtract 600, 150. So divide by 25 and divide by 25. So you get x equals 2 or greater than 6. Divide by 25 is 6. So 6, less than. 17, so same question. So in the relationship between the total cost Y of buying and renting the tools at store C and the number of days of X, for which of the tools are rented in the graph 
in the xy plane that does the slope of the line represent. So it is, this is the slope, mx plus b. Whatever you have in front of x is the slope. Whatever you're adding is the initial value. So for c, you add these two. So that is w plus k, which is 90. So that is the cost for renting the wheel barrow and the concrete mixer. So rental cost, right? Total of the rental cost of the tool. So that is D. Jim has identical drinking glasses, each of the shape of a right cylinder. So right cylinder. With the internal diameter of three inches, so that is 1.5 radius. He pours milk from the gallon jug into each glass until it is full. If the height of the milk in each glass is about six inches, what is the largest amount of full milk glasses that he can pour from one gallon of milk? So that is 231 cubic inches. So first get the volume of a cylinder, which is a cup. So you do area of the base, pi r squared times height, which is pi times 1.5 squared times 6, 1.5 squared times pi times 6, that's 42.41, so now you divide it from 231, 231 divided by 42.41, so you get about 5.44, so how many full, right, asking number of full milk classes, so that's just so you have to round it down to five. If three P minus two is greater or equal to one, what is the least possible value of three P plus two? So three P minus two is greater than or equal to one. And to make it three P plus two, you're adding what? Four, right? So you add four, so it has to be greater or equal to five. So 19 is A. The mass of living or organism in the lake is defined to be the biomass of the lake. If the biomass in the lake doubles each year, which of the following graph could model the biomass in the lake function? Doubling is exponential growth. Right? It is C. 